are we on? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Let's make the phone check. Lights. Lights. Cameras. This is Swanky. This is Lifestyle. This is Culture. Welcome to the social center of everything culture. Culture Daily. Music right there, bringing us exactly 11 minutes past the hour of 10 this morning here on Culture Daily. And hope you've enjoyed the show so far. It's a Monday, and as we do on Mondays, doing a quick big review of the biggest stories happening in our industry. But before that, though, we're still planning a trip around the world. Well, if you are, then do so with Waka. Now, I'll tell you what, they'll give you sizzling deals on flights, hotels, airport transfers, and plan that dreamy vacation for you. Plus, get ready, there's good news because on Friday, Day, they've got giveaways on their socials as well. Don't let the summer fun pass you by. Keep your radios tuned in and stay updated on all the socials as well. On Wakanao Ghana, that's on the socials. Or if you check on their website, it's wakanao.com.gh. Download the app via um, your iOS or on your Android devices. And uh, you can also visit their travel centers across the country in Accra, Kumasi, Takrade, and in Tamale. Well, there's more. Keep smiling, feel confident, do so via Pepsodent Cavity Fighter. I'll tell you why. Because when you eat food and sugars get trapped between your teeth, leading to tooth decay, uh, gum disease, and in some cases, foul breath. And that beautiful smile on Lenny's face tells it all that she brushes her teeth with Pepsodent Cavity Fighter. Thank you very much, beautiful. Uh, let's move on. There's more on Pepsodent this morning. Now, I'll tell you what. So, I'm going to give you a reason why you need to use um, Pepsodent Cavity Fighter because it gives your teeth the protection it needs, leaving you with 10 times stronger teeth. Now, the Cavity Fighter is fortified with pro-fluoride and uh, micro-calcium ingredients, sealing tiny and invisible holes in the teeth. Now, it prevents cavities and, like I said, keeps your teeth and your mouth very strong and healthy. And it comes in 175 gram, also comes in uh, 120, 65, and 12 gram in sachets, respectively. Don't just use toothpaste with that uh, to brush your teeth, use the ones that protect your teeth, and that is Pepsodent Cavity Fighter. Had to be careful on that. Anyway, um, quite a number of stories we're going to be looking at this morning. We'll be starting off with uh, quite an interesting one on our thoughts on uh, Stephen Appiah, um, you know, also now sharing his political ambitions, uh, taking a few cues from other ex footballers who have also gone politics, uh, such as uh, former president of uh, is it former still president of Liberia? George Weir, George Weir. former 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 president of Liberia. Yes, uh, His Excellency George Weir. Pardon me, mm -mm. he didn't get extra time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Charlie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Gokil, what's up? <laughs> Please come for your son. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we will not be responsible for any 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 of such you know, any you know, any, uh, any falling uh, 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 pants. But let's uh, tackle that story as well as we we'll look into Sarkozy's performance in Nigeria and what happened. What's the real st the real story behind it? Plus, King Promise breaking uh, records in Ghana, uh, entering into the Asian markets, pulling the numbers and the crowds. We'll get the video on the screen for you to check out in a bit. But before that, let's roll back to Ayawaso West. Well, the competition is very keen and uh, very interesting amongst footballers actors and politicians ladies and gentlemen welcome to the show serial lenny Oleli. Oleli, i really want to hear your thoughts on this uh, uh on on stephen Appiah. um and let's do a risk analysis and then let's also look at his uh, chances uh and and if the real intention is to win maybe this year or is just to make an <laughs> announcement in there considering the fact that we just have about how many more months uh to the election itself uh eight months to the election itself would that be enough to convince the people or is he leveraging on star power uh to and you know um to be able to cause influence but even in that looking at also john dumelo and last uh, uh season of elections um regardless of all the efforts he had put in there he still wasn't the man for uh the next four years and this year um more work has been, int he's been in he's intensified his uh his campaign early 
uh, we've seen John in and out. Uh, would that be a template for Stephen to pick up as well? We're looking at all these things, but I'd love to hear your opinion on this matter. And then we go, we go around the house. I mean, uh, thank you. But I think for me, I, I, I found the news very surprising, especially because of the fact that he's going as an independent candidate. Um, that constituency is known to be a very um, tough constituency. Matter of fact, in political parlance, it's actually an MPP territory, you know. And um, we've, we've seen how it's been um, it's been a, a cagey fight between um, John Domelo uh, from the NDC and then um, what's another the Lydia character? Sarah. Lydia uh, Sarah Alassan, yes. You know, so I for me I found it very very interesting and surprising that he will go into such a constituency as an independent candidate. I'm not too sure what the the motivation is because I'm sure um, Stephen Api. I'm not too sure where he's from. I think he's from Sotumo. So I'm not too sure why he wouldn't want to stand. You know, for his, uh, a constituency that he's probably known. You know, um, for or a constituency that might need more assistance. Exactly, as an yeah. independent candidate. You know, because in as much as um, uh, what do you call it? Polls ahead of the elections are suggesting all sort of things and how it would go and stuff like that. It's still going to be a cagey fight between the NDC and the MPP. Independent candidates rarely, rarely are going to stand a chance in this in this election. So um, I'm not too sure why he would do that for um, Ayawa. So what's we'll go. Maybe in the future when we interview him, you tell us. Um, but also you talk about star power, which is very interesting. Um, you've seen our own baby jet. You mm -hmm. know he's he's he, he's actually quoted to have said that he, he doesn't mind running as the the, the running mate for uh, what do you call it uh, uh, the flag bearer of the MPP, which is um, His Excellency Vice President uh, Maun Bamiya, which I also found very interesting because mm -hmm. <laughs> I sometimes I wonder I wonder how they see politics or they view politics. One can argue that they are taking the inspiration from ex president george Bia, yeah. you know but even with him it wasn't an easy journey it took a while for him to arise mm -hmm. or rise mm -hmm. to that to, to that mm -hmm. occasion um i'm not too sure star power works in our area of politics or in this area of politics because mm -hmm. if that was the case and john Demiller would have you know gotten a look in when he first announced it but we saw the landslide you know victory that lydia had um over him so um maybe it is a conviction maybe it's um it's an opportunity for him to put his head out there and say okay i'm i'm looking to go into politics or maybe he might change mm -hmm. you know his constituency after after this one um you know goes but <sighs> i really wish him all the best i wish I, i'm not too sure i'm not too sure this this is this is like a i don't i'm not too sure this is a great um what do you may call it attempt you mm -hmm. know, I mean, Apia in his football days was known to be um, um, a maestro in midfield. I'm not too sure what kind of um, position he'll be playing in this one because it's a, it's a very cagey contest between, um, even with, even with, even between John Domelo <coughs> and Lydia. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you're not even too sure who who's got it. I mean, Lydia mm -hmm. obviously, obviously has Honorable Lydia already has a head start in that conversation. Don, John John mm -hmm. obviously because of the fact that you know he's had some star power mm -hmm. you know he has certain appeal to mm -hmm. the youth as well mm -hmm. and so forth but when you look at our politics you you, you understand that the it's, terrain it's, does not allow star power it's, to it's have not its that way easy easily. it's not that easy. sometimes you don't even understand how this thing works it's not it's not that it's not that easy to um think because you have some certain of some, some level of star power mm -hmm. you know you you have the the people at at at, at your at your heart now nah, it's not that easy i'm not too sure about that okay um lenny um yes, I, 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 you are the woman of inspiration and i want to i want to <laughs> pick it up from what your vibes would be with regards to people drawing inspiration from a legend as such uh steven appear and if you think in that in any way can influence people's decision on whether he should be voted for join inspiration from steven appear in terms of his contribution to sports <laughs> The mm -hmm. black stars, mm -hmm. you know, uh, just a bit of the star power that we mentioned. If I, that's in any way for you, can draw uh, a certain level of influence for someone to decide that you know what, let me um, vote for him mm. or not. I, I think to an extent, right? But I have a very interesting question for Cyril. Yeah, I think to an extent, right? But also, um, how much? That's the question again. Mm. Um, from now. To December, it's about eight months, right? 
Um, I don't think that he can do as much in eight months that John has probably done in maybe um, six, eight years or that um, Honorable Lydia Seram has done in four years, you know. I mean, even a few months before mm -hmm. that time when um, her husband passed and all of that, or maybe a few years. Um, I don't think so, right? Like I said earlier, um, I mean, in the in the morning, right? He should just calm down, right? And leave it for, you know, the contenders that we all know. Like Olele said, that place is dominantly NPP, right? Um, even with the win for Lydia Seyram in 2020, it was questionable. I mean, we saw that video where John was even at the polling station pacing and, you know, hoping. Because it was clear that he was going to win right whatever happened happened i mean people came out to vote for him people did skirt and blouse you know what skirt and blouse is yeah. right yeah president, voting different, different for yeah. a president and voting different for an mp people mm -hmm. did that a lot you know in the I also was wagon also because he is young um he's i think that he's also edged his name in you know the universities around he's done mm -hmm. a lot for the students as well, you know, and for the community, you see. So Stephen Apia coming at this time is is, is quite late, mm. um, in into the year. I mean, if you ask me, so John I, leverage. I don't think okay there's a possibility. I okay. mean, introducing himself as you know having interest in politics. Okay, yes, we can you know, for maybe the next four okay. or eight years to come, or I, maybe sixteen years, maybe. I have a very, yeah. I have a very inter interesting question I want to put to Cyril, and then I'll pick you and Olili's minds on it as mm -hmm. well. Um, John leveraged on, uh, um, you know, the 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 creative arts space, you know, from someone who's come from a completely different space that has really nothing to do with politics, mm -hmm. um, and sharing interest, genuine interest, open interest in wanting to be help. I did not need to understand the intricacies of politics. I didn't need to understand any law. I didn't understand anything. I just wanted to help the people. And we saw that coming out from John in his uh, uh, in his campaign strategy, you mm -hmm. know, and even his language, like a day for you, which was clearly reflective. Somebody would say we are speaking for John, but I just like the guy. Um, clearly reflective in uh, how he was supportive, you know, to, um, to the people. Now, the sports fraternity, and this, you know, that's what I'm asking you. You know, as a brand and marketing expert, you know, for <laughs> <laughs> expert, expert. Oh, sorry, sorry. Why did I even do this? You, you forget the. <laughs> 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 you know, do you feel that there's any possibility for uh, Stephen Appiah, the legendary Stephen Appiah, mm -hmm. to leverage on uh, you know the hearts and emotions of sports personalities, sports uh, enthusiasts? To drive numbers for him, you know, that I did something for you. If you recall what I did for you during the days of my Black Stars and my playing days of football and how committed that I was. Mm. Maybe the right, um, the right, uh, not tagline, what do you call The right, uh, what do you call their Intention. They are voting, whatever, like, they are, the, oh, the, the, slogan. slogan. the slogans. The slogans. Well, the slogans that they go with, yes. The right slogan should be able to motivate and move huge numbers and followers of sports um, to vote for him. I think um, with... Because still our Gen Z's, they're day 18 to more day 17, so they don't mm. catch voting age yet. Step up. Hmm. You know, politics on the uh, member of parliament, the MP level, is different from presidential. It's different in the sense that community impact and knowing how to lobby and how to manipulate the system in favor of you know the development agenda of your community is basically mm -hmm. mp 101 right you go in there to impact the community mm -hmm. i know step up has done a lot to impact the nation as a whole okay he's a national icon we know him based on his physical exploits on what is arguably our greatest passion football but it ends there when it comes to his brand when you mention steven apia yes he's a philanthropist but that's not what the first thing people say Yes, he's probably sorted out people's school fees and helped with roofing buildings here and there and doing that. But that's not what he's built his brand relevance on. Mm. His brand relevance is still the same way we tag Asamajan to the penalties, the same way we tag Stephen Apia to his tornado mm -hmm. brand, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So MP is a very dicey place. 
Now, the reason why, if you notice, John DeMello has been doing a lot of groundwork going into the community, in the gutters, to the lecture halls, to the churches, is that reassurance that you give to the community that, one, I understand your situation, two, I am in a position where I can lobby and motivate those who have the power to impact our community, and thirdly, character. With Stephen Appiah, I have not seen, like you're saying, it's close days to the ballot. I've not seen that magnitude of outreach and impact. That's one. Okay. Two, he's not running on any of the big waves, NDC or MPP, that would say, okay, people's affinity will just, you know, spill over for him. Mm -hmm. He's going as step up, mm -hmm. which is another thing. Because Ghana, we are big on who is backing you. What color are you wearing? It's it's a big thing. Otherwise, because we've had some great independent characters that yeah. one percent self they didn't get. So the way our politics is set up, especially on the constituency level, mm -hmm. I think it's gonna be very dicey for him. If he's doing this to build a profile, five hundred percent he should continue. But if the task is really to go and beat John and beat uh Lydia, like Olilia is saying, I mean I, I, I'm not a political analyst, but from a brand perspective, Stephen Appiah's brand doesn't come across to me as the brand to change. Um, I, I, is I West, right? Mm. Yeah. I also West, yeah. You know, which so actually me, includes this. Yeah, which actually includes, includes yeah, Abelian Pe. Hey. Yeah, that's it's big. Yeah, it's big. I mean, I didn't even notice how how much but, of yeah. a stretch. Yeah, but you see, you know, the, the, the the wild card the is not to dampen. The step up fans, because I'm also a step up <coughs> fan. But the wild card would be people are tired of NDC and MPP. They've been saying it and saying it. MPP say they are the better choice. NDC is promoting that they are the better choice. And then here comes Stephen Appiah, who's done nothing but love Ghana, celebrate Ghana, sacrifice for Ghana, promote Ghana, has tried to stay out of either NDC or MPP reportage. Now we know as a has labeled himself white, blue, and, and red. Yeah. That's going to stick with him forever. Yeah. Whether Baumia becomes president or not, whether he gets the sports position or not, whether whatever, Asamaja has, has laid his odds on the line. Step up, we can't say that about him. John and Lydia has been a tough call. Fred came in, gave up, etc. You never know. People might be tired. And there's a large youth constituency in that uh, yeah. AWC. So you never know. There might be a wild card. Everybody says, you know, forget these other guys. Let's, let's throw it to step, <laughs> step up well, and see what so happens. So this, this is not a political show, but let me ask you all this question. Is there an, ever a point in time where this country you feel that a certain, uh, you know, outside knowledge of politics, somebody can just use his um, followership, you know, I'm not a politician, to be able to... To win an election, you mean be it parliamentary, independent, independent, like outside NDC, and even NDC. in an independent, mm. I don't need to be a politician to, you know, I'm just maybe, I'm just Jay Foley, who who's known within some circles, and I decide to go, and just for the love of who I am, people would just want to vote for me. Do, have, do we think we ever see such thing um, here? Mean, or when it gets to the the voting, the moment to vote, people always want to question your knowledge in this in economics before they. I mean, do they do they really question your economics though? If you look at if you look at the electorate, especially with um, the presidential elections or presidential votes, um, the people who actually go out to vote are not like the people. We all go out to vote, but majority of the people who actually go to cast their votes are the people working in Swami Magazine. You know, the Markola Market. You know, I'm talking about the low hanging fruits. That's why they are politicians are confident that even if you and I are able to see through their lies. The people on, on the other side, um, not to you know discriminate or anything, they can just give them a bag of rice, give them some fifty CDs, and they buy. It's not coaches. discrimination; it's what they've made the standard. So speak well, to it okay. with the honest kids. Don't, Yo, so don't I'm, feel bad for saying that people are unwise. <laughs> You know, oh, but so don't you think <laughs> things are changing now? No, I things like are not people changing. Are didn't, now didn't the press, I mean, allegedly. Or, or becoming Let wiser. The, I mean, if you're a trader, I understand the desperation, and I've been blessed to see ghana in certain lights especially with regards to political coverage and there are places you drive to and there's one street light right and this is not somebody saying i have pictures on my phone i can show you there's a whole of community and there's one street light the chief has something to say they all gather under the street light one so those people coming to collect a bag of rice you in a crowd might be like ah 
Yeah. But to them, four yeah, households buy a bag of rice. Yeah. So them being able to get a bag of rice each, it's, yeah, a, big it's a big deal. You so know, last time when we saw the the um, MP of the Dom Kwamenya, well, not the MP, that the um, the new um, the former the, the new MP uh, Adrasa for what? Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah former. MP, yeah, former uh, okay, Michael Kwe Jr. Mm. When you know he was he washing, was washing. And, uh, you you notice the euphoria and the excitement. Yeah. You know, these are kind of things that get to we we the masses the have that, enabled you know. Quote unquote, the masses have enabled the circus around political campaigns. Okay? We are still at that stage of our democracy, socially, intellectually, culturally, whatever that. You have to come and do the circus act. If, part of, if, the, it's yeah, part of, of the of the of, of the rights of uh, passage. Yeah, yeah, we know okay. that you coming to wash pants yeah, or yeah. braid hair yeah. or cook gobe with auntie is yeah. inconsequential yeah. to dollar rate. Yeah. We know the thing mm -hmm. you are doing here, mm -hmm. you they can't mess with us. Yeah. But we want you it's like a humiliation ritual, right? Because washing pants in this twenty twenty four when we owe IMF and there's thousand issues on our neck, like really like yeah. like oh. you know. Like, bro, like, those are the real issues to speak to, you know. Right? Yeah. But he knows if he goes there and starts blabbing up about economics and GDP and blah blah blah, he's they lost the audience. Yeah. So, for that 30 minutes, you clown around with them, you make the news, and then you move on. The president, allegedly, the president's driver just won, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And the lad that did cut upon, um, lad, that's Ladma, right? Yeah, no, not Lakma, Lakma is East La, no, lad that did municipal, yes, lad, Ladma, that's Ladma. what it's Ladma. Ladma, yes, Ladma, yeah, Ladma, Ladma. Yes. okay, yeah. Yeah, Lad there's Ladma and there's Ladma, that's true. So, that, that tells you that's the hustler story, yeah. Driver got a chance to drive for the president. The president. Mm. Now he also wants to impact his community. His people are not looking for an economist with two PhDs. Mm -hmm. I mean, they are looking for I mean, the hustler yeah. who made it. So I mean, they see uh, need the pardon my uh, use of the name. I don't know his name. I don't remember. Yeah. But they see him there, and they see themselves. Yeah, that he's been able to. He's been able to. Like they so the dynamics, to. the dynamics for every community, is different. That's what I'm saying. That the youth. The irony is that. A lot of the tertiary institutions are in this Ayawa so West mm. constituency. Mm. A lot of them. That's of the higher. All uh, all that but guess what? The patronage of these institutions is alien to the constituency. People come from all around to populate these schools. But, but there's still a high level of uh, uneducated uh, and illiterate, yeah, illiterate the community members who within that we, who, are who the vote in that vote. Yeah. Do you understand so you have to watch it's like going to harvard but even so who live around harvard Rush have never Rush been more. to school yeah, yeah. quote unquote yeah. so so that's it so even when you are doing outreach and reaching to these students yeah. you need to make sure they have their vote yeah. in that, in that yeah. constituency now yeah. the question is majority of that vote that youth vote that li lies within the ayawa so west are they the type that will see tornado and for the love of tornado one, two, I've seen yeah. I I'm in that constituency. I think no, I was in I was in that constituency. I'm now at uh, Adenta. Oh, I'm still there. I was there for uh, school because uh, of school, and then uh, I, I, I was there because I, I lived on campus because of no, school. No, I haven't moved it. And I've seen step up mm -hmm. when he pulls up at the washing bay. Everybody goes mad. Yeah. The, but the same way when John Romero pulls up at the washing bay, everybody goes mad. Mm -hmm. If Lydia pulls up at the washing bay and she's not sharing gifts or something nobody really cares yeah mm. so the celebrity factor is still a big deal right from american house to Balesh, you get at least 20 washing bees <laughs> not to talk about all the shops on that stretch with traders who are not graduates etc not to talk about the guys doing the furniture the mechanic shops in that area blah blah it's a it's a really hustle and bustle mm -hmm. place mixed with uber luxury mm -hmm. so there's a house for sale for two million dollars, right next to Thais Pijo shop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, yeah, it's my area. You understand? Yeah, yeah. Like sometimes they boss your mind. You go, even you, you, bro, you they go look for the office space that they charge three thousand dollars a month. The name, then you for park your car for Thais shop. The choice of vehicle brand yeah. <laughs> Thais Pijo shop. <laughs> right next to your ultra executive five bedroom yeah. uh, uh, apartment okay. with this thing. So it's that's the mix of yeah the, the constituency. So we can't really you know cut uh, step up out of the rest okay because Terry is going to vote he's going to vote even well. though the ultra luxury guy might vote for lydia or john so, Terry is also and there's more taste than 
the <laughs> no, but also okay. all right. Before we move okay. on, all right. I I, I I think that with what you is saying, right, touching base with the lower hanging fruits, like Olele will refer to it as. I think John has done a good job of entering all of these places. I think sometime even last week we saw it's him a very going approach. going into the communities, right? Now he's he doesn't only cater to the university um you know market but he's now also going into the communities which he's done you know time and again right and now there are videos of him also campaigning in all of those places so the tay who is also going to probably vote for Stephen Napier will also now have the option you know which he's seen the person do stuff in the community you know um um, pull up people, mm -hmm. help people, pump money into all of these community building stuff over the years mm -hmm. versus someone who is now coming. Mm. I mean, Cause, to, cause to be the fair, possibility to, to is, be fair, is very I mean, low. I would really love to, when we get the opportunity, uh, hopefully he goes on a, on a press run. I would really love to hear and understand the motivation behind choosing to go into a heated I, I mean, I, I, I have also words we're going it's to say. Hot it's, a, mm -hmm. it's one of the hottest constituency, hot. you know, um, in this country. Because I, if we know the step up story very well, we know he grew up in Choco. You know, mm. we know he grew up in Choco where he started his football career. You know, I will never forget the bean story where, you know, he said he followed his friend to go and buy beans and then they ended up playing football there. I mean, these are areas that have witnessed your rise, right? So. Mm. If you return or when you return to the constitution or you return to that demographic and you say you know what we i want to be able to represent my people in parliament and bring some form of development into the area i think you stand a better chance even as an independent candidate you stand a better chance you know um getting getting some votes even if you don't get it the first time you, you are definitely sure that if you do your homework you know you do it the second time you do the third time and you get you get a shout but that constituency I'm, I'm, I'm not too sure. I'm definitely Very not sure. interesting. Well, we'll uh, probably deepen or heighten the conversations with uh, our electorate getting closer to the elections as well. Just uh, make sure you stick and stay on three music. We have something big coming your way uh, with regards to that. But let's move on to Sarkodia as well. I want the backstory to this. But before that, maybe you can watch the video of his performance in Nigeria. Which state was that again? Uh, Lagos. In what Lagos, uh, uh, Nigeria. Uh, let's watch this footage if the production has it, has it ready and we'll be, back, we'll be back for a conversation on it. Well, that's uh, Sarkodie performing in Lagos, Nigeria. Uh, crowd looking a bit, um, what, how, how do you say it? Nonchalant. Thank you very much, uh, <laughs> Queen of the Language. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, and it sparked so much con conversations on social media, on X especially, as people were talking about, you know, it was a divided house um, where some people say that Nigeria, no, they try, and some to say that Sark needs to elevate. So many things, people were saying all kinds of things in there. But again, let's go around the house and, uh, <laughs> and let's hear what each team member has to say about this. Uh, Olili. So, um, yeah. Sarkodie was actually in Nigeria for. Um, um, what do you would call it? A booking, right? Um, for those of you who didn't see the other part of the of the visit, um, I think he went together with his team to mm -hmm. shoot a video with a music video with um, Kenyan's calligraphy Jones mm -hmm. and um, Nigeria's Ladipo, so all of these white rappers, and he also took the opportunity to shoot the um, Hennessy cipher, which mm -hmm. I'm sure we'll see um, later in the year. Um, this event was. Um, an event put together by Larry Gaga. Um, for those of you who are familiar with Larry Gaga, he's a very popular Nigerian producer. You know, why don't say why don't say small god? All right, mm -hmm. just to just to make it easy for you to understand. And um, 
this was the W Bar Lounge in Ikoi, Lagos. Now, mm -hmm. um, from reports coming from Lagos, Sarkodia wasn't built for the show. He just, quote unquote, passed through. True. Mm. Okay. So it's like you visited your friend at the club and like, hey, you know, um, since you're here, why don't you do a thing or two um, for us? Mm -hmm. And Larry Gaga and Sarkodia have a very good relationship. And as a result, he couldn't turn down um, the request. As to how um, people responded to um, Sarkodia's performance, it's different from what we are seeing in the video and what they were experiencing um, in the club. Because I remember when the DJ was playing the song and he brought the fader down, I heard people sing. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, when they were doing the round town song, Love on Your Body, when people were singing as well. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not too sure if that is enough to say um, they weren't giving you know our landlord any form of um, quote unquote respect or recognition. Whether I like it or not, a landlord is landlord. It's not, it's, <laughs> I don't think your response changes that. You get me? Um, Sarkozy has held the rap title or rap, you know, I ain't checked for a very long time. And I don't think that is going to change anything. Some also argue that because of his brand. And because of his, you know, his status in Africa's rap history, um, that was an ISO. Okay, but, but, so, oh, yeah, but let me let me ask you, please. Okay. I am. Um, don't you think mm -hmm. that? Uh, so they say Ghanaians are very open and very, very hostile. You yeah. know, yes, we show love. If, we will do it for you. Yeah, we'll come through for you. Yeah. That's us. Yeah. So there's always that. Um, yes, whiskey has performed in Ghana. It's been a, a best mm. we, we, People didn't attend. Mm. Uh, I think Davido and uh, and Stone Boy did a performance at the beach around the beach someplace. Also, the numbers uh, are not that huge. Yeah, sandbox. In, sandbox. But at least even with the numbers, still, the audience will still show love. Yeah. Just for the fact that we respect who you are. Yeah. Don't you feel a bit of no, I did. I from mean, the house. I'm, I'm not going to say on, on like, that. You know, I, like I wasn't. The I, I don't know. I come for a YouTube on this one, but no, I, I, for <laughs> we, me, I, I we, but we vex you guys. <laughs> yeah, we vex you guys. If like if you people, I would do for. If you don't say we and you, dear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, to be fair, um, I, I did. I, I, I felt that tinge of disappointment when I saw um the response to to Sack. Um, and not to say that he didn't perform songs that are not big in nigeria you know the song with round town is a big song um you go kill me is a big song in nigeria that's what i'm saying that there is a certain there's a certain uh edge mm -hmm. with Ghanaians when we see a nigerian superstar yeah. and a certain instinctive calling yeah that to, let's to give drum. you respect i mean if, let's if, give if, you a fly you do, let's, it, let's treat uh -huh. you well you understand that it cuts across unless we don't know you I mean, unless they, you, your your face is there. You see, this, this conversation it's it's a very tricky one because then it will border on the line of entitlement and what we expect people in that club, <coughs> at that section of the club, to no no that's not being individualistic. Yeah, yeah, in the yeah. sense that I'm, if a, a Niger artist drop town, mm -hmm. I mean for the for for those who might not know, mm -hmm. if a Niger artist drops in Ghana right now. Mm -hmm. There's a certain um, drive for media houses, individuals wanting to have a chance, a piece of the not because of star power, yeah. But that's how just as just as how we are. Yeah. We 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 want to we want to be with you. We want yeah. to, we want to grant you. I mean, it's on brand with us. That's that's yeah. that's very. So much I I don't know I, I don't know if that's the, I think that, we don't get that. You see, I, there was a I, yeah. like Lenny was sharing off off camera. You know when um a new <laughs> artist like Charlie Poppy off camera. <laughs> 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 A new artist like Charlie Poppy came to town. We saw what happened at Garage, yeah. you know, the whole mm -hmm. place was choked, you know, for a new artist. One may argue that, oh, it's because, you know, he's a buzzing artist, he's, he's a brand new artist and whatnot. We, we can argue that if any of Nigeria's biggest artists come to town, it may be a similar situation. I mean, Dakar Mighty was here. We didn't really see much of an excitement, you know, until we were told that he was working with Stoneboy, you know. So I think... Um, we need to be careful with the crowd that we are we are watching over there. If it was maybe a black sheriff who, who went there, we've seen what they, they've Charlie, done for black sheriff. As you mentioned, Duncan, if Duncan Mighty entered Twist Club right now and he was performing, I don't, we will still we will I still mean, jump we, to we Obi still, Anuju. We, we will still jump. It's but, old but people, classic. But Jay, it's gone years or ago. Jay, but uh, we still producer, love Duncan can you, can you for who he video, is. Can you put the video back on? Let me ask Jay something. Okay, we, all right. What is the argument? Is the argument that there was a lady there who didn't even care at all? You watch. I'll point it out to you. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> standing right care. by the stage. Who didn't care at all? She was going through a breakup. I, I, I mean, I mean just but, you know, like, so what the argument here is? The, because I see people look at a, look at a big heads. guy. Look at a very big guy. Like he just literally ten finished talking then ten. <laughs> okay, I'm in trouble. Crying with them. What what I want to draw your attention to is the fact yeah. that this is what concert culture has now become. People would rather pull up their phones, capture. The the event. No, or the see movie. the fat guy. R- oh. Pardon me, calling him fat. I mean, like big big daddy fat guy in the black. Yeah, and I'm saying Who that. Who took a most, snap for his? Uh, Jay, Jay, is he is he, is he is he slim? <laughs> I mean, yeah, he's I mean, slim. big daddy fat. He's guy. not slim. He's like well, people, people, body shaming yeah? him. Like fat, but oh, he's yeah, not, he's not like me. I'm saying that. Jay, that's at least three and a half. Look at this critically. I think most of the people there are the kind of people you have at your VIP section. You know, for your concerts, they pay big money to come and sit in front of your of, of of the stage. Sorry, to come and sit yes in front of the stage. I wouldn't jam with you, right? The main jams are being held in the normal stand. You get what I'm saying? I I I think this is a, a curated VIP section that obviously it's I'm not interested in. Oh come on, Jay. This no, I, I don't think Larry, I don't think Larry Gaga wants to invite anybody at all to come. No, to but 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 this is this or, is this is. Don't get me wrong. I'm saying yeah. that this for optics is an eyesore. Okay, for Africa's rap luminary, this is an answer. Don't get me wrong on that. But I'm also telling you that it doesn't make or make Zach Oh, no, 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 you know, um, invitations because I mean, look, it's um, hot sun. You know, not 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 quite a number of people were there and stuff like. And I'm always asking. Have myself, have have the fans what? have the fans dealt with their own to do list and that their own what, New Year's resolution? Exactly, like the guy is trying making to money. achieve something for themselves. I'm sure, because the, the guy <laughs> the guy is getting paid. He's making it because you know. And I don't want to bring if I bring this into to create a whole news because our very own Shatawali has even de- has even defended such things that the most important things are getting paid. Yeah. It's not about the fact that you know you you went to a show where the show wasn't good. Yes, we want to see our biggest stars take you know they take the bigger stage and whatnot. But I'm telling you, some of these shows that you know some of our biggest stars go for, they're getting paid. Um, Stone Boy was supposed to have performed at uh, one of these events. Uh, I think it was was it Afro no. Um, was it Afro Future? No, Afro Nation or something. He couldn't perform or so, and then he performed to a private crowd or something. I've forgotten the event. Fans were complaining about it. That our biggest. Th- there are going to be times where you will have club performances. Mm. It's not too far fetched. Or from, private performance. Or private performance. It's not too far fetched from Jay. Mm-hmm. If today you be a Tony Elumelu, mm-hmm. yeah, Tony Elumelu, mm-hmm. invites you mm-hmm. that Jay, I'm a, I'm celebrating my 50th anniversary, mm-hmm. my 50th birthday. Okay. Come and MC yeah. for me, mm-hmm. to just me and my family. Okay. And you take the cash, mm-hmm. you take the check, and mm-hmm. you go. Yes. And you take pictures. Yes. And you take videos. Eh? Mm-hmm. And then your fans say, Ah, Jay, but you pa. We you know how Jay. You are you are Ghana's Ryan Seacrest, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. and you have gone to MC for a private event like this where mm-hmm. the people are not even clapping for you. I get you. Lift up your hands and they are like this. Jay, at that point in time, are you more concerned about the optics or about your money? Um, I'm mm. concerned about my money. Thank you very much. Because at the end of the day, you need to pay bills. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. Yes, we want you to go and host American Idol. We want you to go and host X Factor. But this one too. But at that point in time, they have given you five hundred thousand mm-hmm. dollars in check mm-hmm. or in cash. Which what do they want me to wear, bro? Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Gladly, I will. See, just to wrap it up for my part, <laughs> just wrap it up. All in all, it still gave us the top of mind awareness. It still gave Sack the talkability. You know, the conversations were being had on the internet, social media definitely went berserk about the fact that, you know, Sack either performed to a small stage. Look, even if it was a Chatawali or a Stone Wolf, I would have held the same argument. Because the most important thing is getting paid. Mm-hmm. The most important thing is getting paid. I'm not too sure if Gaga paid Sack for such thing. But I also know that there's a Nigerian culture with clubs that when they invite a big guest, you know, they sort them out. You mm-hmm. understand? They give them something that you know, because even when they come to Ghana and they, they hear our DJs play their music, they saw them out. So imagine mm-hmm. Sack is in Nigeria to do his project, whatever, and he invites, you know, Larry invites him to come. He's not just going to come for free. Something small. I, I mean, even, even if he didn't take, but knowing Sack in his business culture, and uh, he would definitely have. Uh, <laughs> 
uh, what you call it, a strategy, you know, and a reason to jump on there unless there's something in there for, for him. Maybe not necessarily money, but even if it's a relationship, there's something definitely in there. Okay, so this is quite difficult for us to dissect. I don't know, Cyril, you want to uh, top it up with anything? Or we move to next you know what's topic? not going to matter? What? When Sark does his overview from the year and he adds this as one of the locations he made an appearance and a performance, it's a plus on his, on his, on his roster. The experience, whether people dance, they didn't dance, they did this, they didn't that, it's subjective. It happens, right? Everybody's had a slow day. Quavo just did a show that's trending online. With Chris Brown and right it's, now. It's like 12 people that came. It's normal. No, it's because Chris Brown. No problem. 50 did the same thing to Jaru. <laughs> but guess what? Jaru came to Ghana. We covered it. Exactly. Nobody cared. But you know, so, just, let me also quickly add to that Chris Brown thing. At the end of the day, Quavo is getting his money. Yeah. Because I take it. You understand? Going to go to Tali, him, so. I keep saying it too much and too, too much, and I'll never stop saying it. The fans are entitled. And they express the entitlement without being realistic about it. Cyril, I, is, let's not look at it like bozo, bozo, a bozo. entitlement. Because also, it is an entitlement. they love you so much so that they, they have some see. expectations ah. who, who, so who I'm or confused. where they want their you it, know, excuse superstar me. to yeah. perform at. I'm, I'm, Sometimes I'm, I'm it's just confused. what they let want me, for you as let much. Me, they let want me tell so you why they the yes. yes, yes. It's not no, about entitlement. You cannot want me to have a six-pack more than me. If you start shouting at me about six pack right now, bro, then you don't turn up. Sometimes they can. No, then me, I'm not gonna talk to you again. Yes, I want a six pack, you, you but bro, know, let me eat my tasty jack, bro. You understand? Let me let me let me let me let me finish. Let me make a land. You are going to land, but we shall shine that. Let me let me just. Oh, let me. I'll come. I will forget my the train of thought. I buy one ticket. I beg you. So, don't worry. There's no track. There's no track on the tracks. You spend another one minute. There's no Looking track around. on the tracks. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so as I was saying, right, when Sarkodie was proactive and went to rekindle his love for the junior audience mm -hmm. and did an SS tour, mm -hmm. it's the same people who said, what is he doing at this time, blah, 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 making all that kind of noise. Mm -hmm. But there was nothing wrong with him rekindling with a new audience, mm -hmm. celebrating mm -hmm. the classics and reasserting his dominance as the landlord. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with it. Right? The same people who laughed and ridiculed and made jokes about him are now concerned about this. You need to choose a side. If you love an artist and you love their artistry, if they've had a tough day or they went somewhere and it didn't pop like the way you expected, right? Take it on the chain. Keep it moving. Don't turn it into a badge you want the artist to wear. Mm -hmm. Sack went there and the people were not vibing like we are used to seeing Sack mm -hmm. audiences vibe. Nobody died. Mm -hmm. Nobody died. It's a, it's a slow day at the office. Mm -hmm. Nobody died. It happens everywhere. Yeah. It happens everywhere to every artist. Mm -hmm. When Beyonce got flown out to where, where to perform at a child's birthday party, mm -hmm. do you think the kids were raving left, right, center? Mm -hmm. But she got a check. Even our own brother, I don't mention his name, he told us somebody in East Legon here mm -hmm. got yeah, him yeah, to, yeah, a, to, yeah. a, to a kid, whether a seven-year-old or a nine-year-old's birthday yeah. party. Do you think they were jumping off tables? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. But you will sing down your lyrics because check has cleared. So please... Whatever relationship that pushed Sack to do this, point. it's like ah, Olili, if you come right, if I, I come to your station, eh, I come to Jefoli station, and there's no audience, or the audience doesn't know me, and Jay says, oh, Cyril, do a small segment for me, and I go and I go and do it for Jay, and nobody minds me. What have I lost? Do you know the relationship I'm nurturing, or the reason why I would take that risk no, for that's, my? That's, that's, do you, do you get what I'm that, saying? I get it. That's why I'm saying it's entitlement because you watching on Facebook okay. with your 50 megabytes, you don't know the story. Let's speak, let's you don't speak. know the back end. Let's we speak. all don't know the story, but Let I mean, Olele has yeah. just told us what it is that happened. Again, I would say that there are always two sides, right, mm -hmm. to every story. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, what Siro wants to look at as entitlement, mm -hmm. I want to look at it as expectation. Right, because we've seen this is someone we hail as a landlord in Ghana. So obviously, being landlord in Ghana, we expect that should Sakodia walk into any club today in Ghana, the crowd reaction will be crazy. Mm -hmm. And so, having been in the industry a decade plus, People we expect also expect that, that, that when you go into any other market, also being market one of Africa's you know, best, yeah, they know us, so they don't know him they exactly. Know him. It's not like he went to Lesotho. Mm -hmm. Let's be honest. He didn't go to, you know, 
somewhere that people will not know. Mm -hmm. It's not an island that will say country the that possibility. Maybe the music might not exactly, the possibility that. of people not hearing his song yeah. See, what, is what high. What so saying? is he introducing himself into that market? This is a market that you know uh, he's know had him. songs, Shoot he's us. had collaborations so are, with are the people other people saying that, uh, on there. Are they saying, saying they, saying they that don't know any of the songs? It was of no interest because that's what we saw the video. Regardless of whether he was booked or not, serial. Hold on, let me get done. Regardless of whether he was booked or not right imagine sakodia is you know arguably one of our best yeah. in ghana right so let's say we are taking one of the best people one of the best artists from nigeria right let's take a davido for example should davido come to ghana Which I right that and get the into a club respect davido for who he yeah, is yeah and get into a club a new song whether yes whether old song or new song whether booked or not whether based on relationship of whoever invited him into the club or not should the video just mount that stage the, the reaction from the people be. will be different let me hold on right there and let me let me you let me you have this five quite, minutes you know disappointing one minute I mean, more as a for fan, this looking at that i would i would have wanted more from the people around yes. real quickly please i beg you we would have wanted more i am not denying the fact that yeah. it's not your typical performance situation for Sarkodie. That's why I said that we do not know the full context. Only has some of the information. Right. Secondly, hey, you don't know the full context. Oh, we know, but that's the first thing I said. Like you don't know the full context. context. Oh, no. well, let me yeah. finish. Uh, but, 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 you, I don't know how context in this situation yeah. would, uh, you know, speak to um, what we just saw. Um, uh, uh, there are My people. My name is Jay. Yeah. Ah, okay. <laughs> Jay, there are people in this Ghana that if you put David in a nightclub, if it was the right club. That David O worked on. Oh, yeah, but I mean, so no, hear me out. Oh, hear me out. Oh, let me, let me. You are assuming. We oh. don't know. We don't. I will we are assuming on the audience. For yes, you. thank you. <laughs> there are clubs in this Ghana, Bosu, that people too be them are own people. That if David O came, he would sit down and vibe normally, and nobody would fanboy him. In are this we, Accra, do we are we are we on, on that same on, page? Are we saying that? Are we saying that if David O dropped a song from his first album mm -hmm. in a nightclub somewhere? If I tell I you, say I love you. No, no, you. fair. You let's go. Let's roll back to that first one that you know he that, that sent him. That's Dami Duro. Dami Duro, mm -hmm. and David O just popped in and sang Dami Duro mm -hmm. at a club somewhere in. Oh, but that um, was at the Sandbox. Uh, a a a would to somewhere very hidden, far away from the capital city, where you might say entertainment is not as vibrant as it as we expect it to be, as we see here mm -hmm. you think that people will not jump to damage oh, well, people this that's what i'm saying that there's a certain so we will question this uh, reaction from nigeria and i know our youtube will be very exciting if you jump mm -hmm. see the comment but we still love you though you know you still we we'll love you we'll he's lying or we don't love you like and, and Ghana <laughs> in nigeria but we just uh, we felt like you know do what we would have done for you Okay, just even if there was any other reason, do what would have done for you. But let's move on and wrap it up with uh, Kim Promises' um, Asian sellout. Mm. <laughs> sellout in a positive way. Asian sellout concert. And to see all those people jam into his music. Well, is Ghana... Well, for me, when I was watching the video, I was like, hey, wait, dude. Um, Asylum is doing well. Uh, Promises songs are doing well. Uh, Black who is entering places, is there maybe a turnaround, today the Niger we did on you, a turnaround mm. of events on self-love for Ghanaians and for what we do? Is it that we are hitting the notes right? Or is it because we've, we've caught, the, we've now also mirrored the, the strategy in terms of singing style, language, you know, jargons, tunes, of what our cousins, that's all they will put it, are mm. doing? And that is giving us the numbers? I don't know. First of all, I think we, we've just churned out some great music. Sorry, let's play the video. So sorry okay. about it. Let's play the video and see. Do you have time see. to play video? Oh, well, just check it out real quickly. Oh, we have 10 more minutes. Okay. No, no, no. We just have... <laughs> let's go. Let's check it out. All the way after the after uh, uh, what did they call her? Yeah, after him for him for the corner there, top 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 there. Safe. 
you know yeah. people usually do trips to dubai or singapore you know if you want to travel have a fair and time she's singing in chio and, and she's singing yeah. 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 so 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 Niger, what are you telling us Promise now has single-handedly lifted the uh, asian and uh, tourist uh, uh, attraction because the kind of fellas who are looking to take the next available <laughs> flight to Indonesia for the women, eh? I'm telling you, <laughs> tell, the women uh, love the women. So love the specs, to, specs, so specs. So Charlie, the they did pull inside, oh, mid, mm. midnight pool. The hey, women love the way, but yeah, everybody be yellow. Yeah, oh, huh? Also, in bed, the way. Anna, there. It's mainly because of all the beautiful women who are in bikini in the pool. Promise, promise, mm. promise. Think if you didn't see it, uh, and you know, you know what? But I did mean? you see the women in the bikini in the pool? Yes, please. Uh, all right, bro. You see the nice women in the no, bikini no, in the pool. No, I can't. Don't you ask me. No, no, no. You were saying. You were saying. You are inconsequential. What really melted my heart was the fact that you know you would think that Terminator was the only song they knew, but you saw the lady singing to Easy's. Promise and Easy's record, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and other songs. Even Perfect Combi. That's jealous, right? You know, yeah, jealous, yeah. yeah. You know, Perfect Combi and, and all these other songs. So that means Promise has not become one of their own. So much so that Paris, that was released about what a month ago, is already on the lips of these of these Asians. And I think we've just found ourselves a fantastic ally. Fantastic. You know, we found ourselves, you know, and I and I believe that you know um, it shouldn't just end there. Uh, other Ghanaian artists should try to you know, um, also push their music into that place. Because I'm told that the Asian music community or the consumers in the Asian music industry, they have a way of holding on to, you know, artists that are obviously not from their town, but from another town. So uh, one artist that has a stronghold in that area is Amare, mm -hmm. right? And they start using your songs for, you know, their videos. They start using your, like their that, songs yeah. for their... Uh, so the cash That's out That's where you know you've blown. That's where you know that, Charlie. Mm. You are... you have, Because it's not easy. That is why when um, Kitty Statchett hit India, it was a big deal for us, you know. But we, we also need to look at the fact that this is not the first time a Ghanaian has, you know, broken such boundaries. Mm. We've had um, Adina do, you know, the Australians. Australia, you know, yeah. Even Kwame Eugene and Kitty went to do the, uh, the Pacific area. Of, of of the world now we have you know Kim Promise doing Asia so the opportunities are endless we found allies let's just take advantage and make use of these um, connections and establishments or else we will come back to <laughs> but of course it's also because the song is good yeah the, song yeah. Is the good. quality of the music is great for marketing mm -hmm. okay I'm, I I don't think it's because you know um, we are turning, we are turning the, the corner, but it's because the songs are great. Asalam is a beautiful song. There's a new song from Bistrap, um, Fly Girl. Fly Girl. Beautiful. Like the songs we are churning out now are quality music. They are great music. Aka Sekano. Yebeka Sem. Aka Machine. Aka Machine. Yebeka Sem Afa. Enyumnu ho. Ewe yempese yempe yada ufono mo wo e ohono. What's the term that we give to? And I go no. And I go no. We do. There's another. Um, Alatafon. Alatafon. Yempese yempe 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 I know the Nintendo, the Yaya can send you. Bye bye, bye you.